Day 20. The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will. The Virgin, Heaven studded with stars. In this heaven, the sun of the divine fiat blazes with its most refulgent rays and fills heaven and earth, Jesus in the womb of his mama. The soul to her mother queen. Here I am again with you, my celestial mama. I come to rejoice with you, and bowing at your holy feet, I hail you, full of grace, and mother of Jesus. Oh, I will no longer find my mama alone, but I will find my little prisoner, Jesus, together with you. So, we will be three, no longer two, together, mama, Jesus, and I. What fortune for me, that if I want to find my little King Jesus, it is enough to find his mama and mine. Oh, please. O holy mama, at the height of mother of a God at which you are, have pity on your miserable and little daughter, and say for me the first word to little prisoner Jesus, that he give me the great grace to live of his divine will. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven, Mother of Jesus My dear daughter, Today I await you more than ever. My maternal heart is swollen. I feel the need to pour out my ardent love with my daughter. I want to say to you that I am the mother of Jesus. My joys are infinite. Seas of happiness inundate me. I can say, I am the mother of Jesus, his creature, his handmaid is mother of Jesus, and I owe this only to the fiat. It rendered me full of grace. It prepared the worthy dwelling for my Creator. Therefore, always glory, honor, and thanksgiving be to the supreme fiat. Now listen to me, daughter of my heart. As soon as the little humanity of Jesus was formed in my womb by the power of the divine fiat, the Son of the Eternal Word incarnated incarnated himself in it. I had my heaven formed by the fiat, all studded with the most refulgent stars that glittered with joys, beatitudes, harmonies of divine beauty, and the Son of the Eternal Word blazing with inaccessible light, came to take his place within this heaven, hidden in his little humanity. And since his little humanity could not contain him, the center of this sun remained in it. But its light overflowed outside, and investing heaven and earth, it reached every heart. And with its pounding of light, It knocked at each creature, and with the voices of penetrating light, it said to them, My children, open to me. Give me a place in your heart. I have descended from heaven to earth in order to form my life in each one of you. My mother is the center in which I reside, and all my children will be the circumference in which I want to form so many of my lives for as many as are my children. And the light knocked and knocked again, without ever ceasing, and the little humanity of Jesus moaned, cried, agonized, and within that light which reached into the hearts, he made flow his tears, his moans, and his pangs of love, and of sorrow. Now you must know that a new life began for your mama. I was aware of everything that my son was doing. I saw him devoured by seas of flames of love. Each one of his heartbeats, breaths, and pains were seas of love that he unleashed, enveloping all creatures to make them his own by force of love 
and of sorrow. In fact, you must know that as his little humanity was conceived, he conceived all the pains he was to suffer up to the last day of his life. He enclosed all souls within himself because as God, no one could escape him. His immensity enclosed all creatures. His all-seeingness made them all present to him. Therefore, my Jesus, my Son, felt the weight and the burden of all the sins of each creature. And I, your Mama, followed him in everything and felt within my maternal heart the new generation of the pains of my Jesus and the new generation of all the souls whom, as mother, together with Jesus, I was to generate to grace, to light, to the new life which my dear son came to bring upon earth. My daughter, you must know that from the moment I was conceived, I loved you as mother. I felt you in my heart. I burned with love for you, but I did not understand why. The divine, divine fiat made me do facts, but kept the secret hidden from me. But as he incarnated himself, he revealed the secret to me, and I comprehended the fecundity of my maternity, that I was to not only be mother of Jesus, but mother of all. And this maternity was to be formed on the stake of sorrow and of love. My daughter, how much I have loved you, and I love you. Now, listen to me, dear daughter. What extent one can reach when the divine will takes operating life in the creature and the human will lets it work without impeding its step. This fiat, which by nature possesses the generative virtue, generates all goods in the creature. It renders her fecund, giving her maternity over all, over all goods, and over he who created her. Maternity says and means true love, heroic love, love that is content with dying to give life to the one it has generated. If this is not there, the word maternity is sterile, is empty, and is reduced to words, but does not exist with facts. Therefore, if you, my daughter, want the generation of all goods, let the fiat take operating life in you, which will give you the maternity, and you will love everyone with love of mother. And I, your mama, will teach you how to fecundate in you this maternity, all holy and divine. The Soul Holy Mama, I abandon myself in your arms. Oh, how I would like to wet your maternal hands with my tears to move you to compassion for the state of my poor soul. Oh, please, if you love me as Mama, enclose me in your heart. Let your love burn away my miseries, my weaknesses, and let the power of the divine fiat, which you possess as queen, form its operating life in me, in such a way that I may be able to say, My Mama is all for me, and I am all for her. Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will thank the Lord as many as three times in the name of all, for he incarnated himself and made himself prisoner in my womb, giving me the great honor of choosing me as his mother. Prayer Mama of Jesus, be my mama and guide me on the path of the will of God.